Hello, welcome to IMHO. In my homosexual opinion. I'm Dobby Bibes. I'm Alexis P. Bevels. The P stands for pause. We have a special guest today. It's Lucy Stoll. <laughs> hey, y'all. Now, Lucy, you're returning, Hi. but I've never yes. been with you. Yeah, it's our first time. It's our first time together. So, so Darby, if you could step off the screen. We got we got to catch up first without you. So oh, if no, you no, could no. step so part, out. So I did promise her mm -hmm. that when she came that I wouldn't leave her alone with you. That was her one stipulation. Oh, that it's was in your writer. writer. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Do you have so a writer? Earth, Do I have a writer? Out. A little one. It's not anything like dramatic. Okay. Yeah, it's pretty simple. Will you That's tell something us, you're Adrian? supposed to ask her before she gets here. You can't ask her while filming. It's but okay. this is. But, but let's hear it. Yeah. <laughs> Mine is so simple. It's just like I need an actual dressing room and I would like Jameson. Jeez. Like, that's it. Okay. Like, you did that. I just, that's very simple. You know what? Writers do need to be simple unless you are incredibly famous and then they need to be insane because I don't want a famous person who's got their head on straight. True that. Are you kidding? True that. If Mariah Carey's writer was a comfortable room with some Jameson, I'd be like, fuck you, you're not Mariah Carey. <laughs> I want it to be like a dog named Spiffy who's been alive for six and a half years and I want him to have already digested the M&Ms that I'm gonna eat after the show. Oh my God, that's like Grace Jones. She has one of my favorite writers. What? She asks for, I think two dozen oysters, but she also asks for a shucking knife and it says Grace shucks her own in parentheses. <gasps> Grace shucks that's her own. That's fierce. That Isn't is that awesome? Grace shucks her <laughs> Grace own. Grace shucks her own. That's, she hasn't written a book. That's I the name of it. I love it. Have y'all seen on, it, they were on Facebook, but they made it to TikTok. The videos oh. of people shucking oysters. No. To get pearls. They're no. Like pyramid scheme pearls. Have you never heard of these? No. There's yeah. now whole pearl farms where you can get, they can form, formulate specially colored and sized, but like different colors pearls. Oh. And they go on Facebook and they like raffle them off and there's like a raffle wheel back there. You know, like when people message you on Facebook that you went to high school with and they say, hey girly, how you doing girl boss? It's them, but they're playing with pearls. <laughs> oh no, God. And it is so fun. Is oh, it? wow. Lucy, first and foremost, this outfit, oh. and I mean this with all the respect in the world, fuck you. You. Oh my How god. Incredible. <laughs> Who are you wearing? Tell us everything. Thank you. I'm of course wearing one of my favorite designers. I still call her a local designer even though she's working out of, you know, all over the world. But Ada Birthing, one of my like best friends and like yeah, just one of my favorite people to work with because they create these amazing, fantastical garments that kind of fit, you know, like my little my little weird cute mood. Amazing. Who just wore it on Drag Race? Yeah. Lemon was going to on your yeah. favorite view the world. Oh, but you know we've seen so Ada on Drag Race. Yeah, we actually, we saw her on Blue, didn't we? Yes, yes Blue Hydrangea. Yes, yes. And yeah. then I think Denali as well in her season. Well, Denali didn't get to wear it. Here's the thing oh, the about pregnant. Ada birthing. There is a little like inside joke is that everyone always gets eliminated before they get to wear on the runway. Because like Denali's had some, Cheriza's had some, like so many of the girls have her, but they're always about to wear her before they get eliminated. That's so. horrible. If I ever get cast on Drag Race, no, I'm gonna, have, thing. No, I'm gonna have her make it for the second episode because I can't stay long. You said I'm done. Well, I just, you know, because I have I in just, and out. Yeah, I, well, I have to do your my, girls, my girls, and I have a mail. Have you ever checked a mailbox? Oh so God, I couldn't imagine. Frustrating. <laughs> you look incredible. Thank yeah. you. And thank you for gracing us with this premiere. Thank you so much. Yeah, I was like, I gotta wear something cute for the girls today. Now, Lucy is is actually filming with us before Queen tonight. Yes. So this is your warm up to Queen. How can we help you get prepared for it? Um, yeah, we're actually doing pretty good. There's no super loud music. People haven't started sweating on me yet. Um, get closer. Yeah. Yeah, it's just a matter of time. <laughs> Alexis. Yeah, bye. Would you mind getting us started? Okay. Should we just dive right in? Do you want to do a whole 28? Lot. You're 20 days in a whole, do you want to do a kit, like a? Yes, I have gained two pounds. <laughs> I'm not kidding. <laughs> Are you kidding? I'm doing it wrong. Because you know the whole 30 is all about cutting everything out and then you reintroduce and whatever. Mm -hmm. And I said, Curtis, I don't need to do that. I already know what I can't eat, but like I eat it anyway. So I'm just gonna cut out all the stuff, but I'm gonna keep something to make me happy. And so that something was peanut butter. Okay. And apparently there's a lot of sugar uh, in peanut butter. Is there sugar-free peanut butter you could have looked into? Ugh. <laughs> 
<laughs> Say, what hey, is I'm the like, point? sounds disgusting. What is the point? <laughs> oh. Yes, but what is the point? Ooh. Yeah. What is the point? Anyway, so I've gained two pounds, and honestly, I've just learned to love the skin you're in, mm -hmm. and then eat peanut butter. Yeah. You're creamy, or That's are you crunchy? Right okay, ooh. Okay, that made me nervous. I'm gonna say creamy. Don't give me a nut. Mm. Are you creamy or are you crunchy? Are you, you're crunchy? I think there's a time and place for everything. I think that okay. creamy That's has called a... called bisexual. A, exactly, me, hello. Hello. <laughs> the pansexual in me is like, I'll just take any and all. Huh, um, I have to find the right time. Yeah, but you know what? I think there's something so good about a crunchy peanut butter with a jelly or a jam. Now, now wait a minute. That is so delicious. I, I actually was thinking about a crunchy peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Mm, today. It's delicious. Wow. But I am, but I am a creamy. If it's just a spoonful, I'm mm. a creamy. Oh, yeah. There's just something so satisfying. And so Curtis, he has decided to stick to all the rules of the Whole30, which is like, LOL, it's February, it's the Whole28. You don't have like, to follow the rules. <laughs> Let's get started. <laughs> okay, wait. I have, a, I have a starting line. Oh, okay. no. Here we go. Diabetes spends a lot of time monitoring her sugar intake, but she should be worried about all that saltiness she's working with. Is that wrong? I was trying to do a plan of words because they're diabetic. No, 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 I, I got that. Diabetes type one though is different from diabetes type two. Do you know that? Well, I'm gonna know for a couple of years probably. <laughs> <laughs> No, that was solid. That was a solid. Well, all I mean to say is she's salty that she's been safe this whole time, which I understand. I would maybe not be so vocal about it, but for yeah. her to turn to Georges and say, as your friend, congratulations. As your friend. Like a separation mm. of like, as a competitor, you garbage. What did you think of that look? I mean, like, let's be honest, a tiny little sprig of a thing <laughs> and, and that piece of fabric and those cookie cutters, it was cute as hell. Now, yeah. could anybody else honestly pull that off? No, but we're not judging everybody else on mm. it. We're judging Georges and her cute little drag and she, she did it. Like, if a girl wore that on stage at Berlin or something like that, I'd be like, that's cute. Yeah. So, like, for this challenge, she did great. Do I think she deserved to win? Not really, but she did. Would you say that as soon as you came back inside from her winning, would you be like, by the way, cute, not great? You know what? Ooh. I'm kind of a bitch, I might. <laughs> I might. I'm not even gonna lie. Show. I'm not even show. gonna lie. Now, looking at like you know Daya doing that, I was like maybe not the best time, but I'm also like, I might do that. Yeah. I might have come back there and been like, well, and, and good for you. Who bitch. knows? There also might have been you know producers saying, yeah, yeah. 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 It's all reality. It's real. The eye rolling that they kept closing up on. I would have done that. Constantly. Oh, I definitely, like, definitely. That would have been my, <laughs> my default. But to go to the next day and have her apologize. I'm sorry. I live for that kind of shit. The edit we received was not the best for her. They didn't edit her in a nice light, but for those of you who are like, well, you can't edit something that's not there. Yeah, she was on the screen like 80% of this episode. She really was. So every little moment she had that seemed really unsavory, they put in the show. And they can also edit people's reactions that might not have happened at the specific times. Well, I don't know. She did say some, some I'm, I'm sure that George's reaction wasn't great. It's the soap opera challenge. It's an acting episode, Dynasty Dallas style. Mm. And since George is one last time, she gets to assign the rules. So one of the things they said was, if you had a soap opera, what would your soap opera be named? Have y'all thought about that? What would your soap opera be named? Oh, um, Come Again or something like that. <laughs> Based on our favorite soap opera. Come oh, on. oh, um. <laughs> oh, world. We'll come back to it because clearly you've used your best one already. Oh, wow. Yeah, and Georgia says the very nice thing where she's like, hey, if you're gonna fail, you're not gonna blame me for it. So pick your own roles. My yeah. favorite part of the whole thing was seeing Lady Camden go, wait, everyone picked their roles? I'm still on page one. Yeah. Oh, it's, you know what? I thought I thought about this. It's because the script was written in American English and she's British, so she can't oh read that fast. So she had to add a lot of cheerio and <laughs> old oi. chap and yeah. oi. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, I got it. General cum spittle. <laughs> <laughs> That's great, actually. <laughs> that is great. <laughs> Mine would be all my bottoms. Oh! I was thinking, what is an all my, all my... That's good. What was that one? What was that crazy one 
Passions. Passions, yes. Do y'all remember Passions? Oh, everyone Where it remembers was Passions. Magic and <laughs> insanity. Yes. Passions. Fascisms. No. <laughs> it would just be me fighting fascists. Let's go to the, the filming of it. It's going, seems to be going pretty well, but Rue is putting these Rue pauses in, and I don't quite understand. Did you just say Rue pauses? Oh, Rue pauses. Yeah. Remember when they were acting and she was like, you gotta put pauses in. I was like, do you? That's one of my favorite things. Okay, not, they got me. I not to brag. They did get me too. My husband's an actor. Mm. Okay, he has been murdered on multiple shows. Mm. Um, he's been shot three times in the last year. Mm. He was watching it with me and he was like, so that's not how you direct. A director can't tell an actor, hold your breath here, say this part louder wait here. A director can't give you a line reading. They literally just say like, take your time. But I do have to say, I did enjoy it. Because if a judge is telling you this would make me laugh, fucking do it. Did I agree with it personally? No. It didn't make me laugh. They really, yeah, they got me with that one. Uh, really yeah, I, I was one. I was very confused, but the rest of it was fun. Like, I like that she was having fun with the girls and laughing at their bits. I don't know, though. Here's my thing. Like, because Lady Camden, I think it was, that was like, oh, so Rue's going to be our director. Like, we've had Michelle, we've had Carson, but Rue's a completely different person. Yeah, at that point, you're not really competing in the challenge to do your best in the challenge. Mm -hmm. You're trying to please the name on the show in front of them. Yeah. Right? Doesn't it yeah. become less yeah. about doing the challenge and more about just being like, you like that, Rue? And that's ultimately how we ended up getting whatever Jasmine Kennedy did. You know, I've been watching, do you, have you seen that show Inventing Anna? It's this woman who's a fake German heiress. Oh yeah, I remember, that's a real story. But she's from, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, but she's from Russia. Shonda Rhimes lived... took it over and it's like. Oh, it's really good. Of course, are you, are you, do you watch it? Yeah. Yes, of course. So she, the girl is from Russia, but she moves to Germany at a young age. So she's got Russian, but also German, and then lives in America and is doing like Americanisms. So the accent is all over the place. Mm. That was what Jasmine was giving me. Like what, it wasn't, it was Southern, but it was also a uh, nerd. As someone who has survived the South, I do enjoy hearing people who are not from the South try to do Southern <laughs> accents. It, it pleases me. I, I, I right? can imagine. It's fun. That's why I'm glad that we don't do a lot of accents on this show, because we don't want to offend anyone. Right, so do you want to do your Jennifer Lopez Australian accent? Or... <laughs> you saving that? Did anyone have trauma this episode? No, there wasn't really any trauma talk. It was it was all fun. They this saved it for on talk. Oh, oh, did, oh, did you watch? Oh yeah. I usually don't, but I'm watching on talk this season. You're only getting half the story. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> she didn't believe in marketing. She Come on! Uh, <laughs> I did, yeah, I did enjoy on Twitter. I think it was Candy. That like someone's put up like the best oh, yeah. untucked, and Jasmine has had the best top two untucked. And Candy's like, "Here's your crown." Oh. I love that. Listen, Jasmine Kennedy. She is a wonderful TV character. She I'm really gonna is. say it. She I will, is really I will say full full. Is it 180 or is it 360 when you turn around? 180 on is the other side. 360 is where you are right now. Yeah. Well, I turned around to face the side that likes Jasmine. I'm <laughs> on that side. 180. Yeah. <laughs> oh, they were talking about Folsom. I can't believe we almost didn't talk about it. Yes. Oh, yes. The doors. The Chia Gun open. No, no, no. The Folsom. No, Rock'em oh. Sakura. Yeah. Oh, right. I was just so surprised. Like, Drag Race, I think, in the past, has always been perfect and we don't have anything bad to say about it of course but <laughs> they, they've just really shied away from things that are a huge part of the queer community and so to hear them talk about Folsom so openly I know I, I bought the uncensored version on iTunes <laughs> well 199 I've got it um but that's wild. It was on VH1 yeah. they talked about fucking Folsom. Yeah. And have it, you been to Folsom? I, I have like not been to Folsom. That's your spirit. It is very much my spirit as a big fan of IML and also, you know, International Mr. Rubber and everyone else. Um, it's definitely up my alley, but I have not been to Folsom yet. I think it's a whole street. I don't think they have to confine it to just alleys. <clears throat> 
I love that they were talking about how, because I mean, obviously, gay pride, everyone's welcome, but there are some spaces well, target, that don't target need that target. that don't need families. It can just be amongst the uh, queer adults. Yeah, and absolutely. I like, I like queer that. adults can be family. Rue Rue has said that multiple times. Actually, just don't bring your double wide strollers. No. Bring your double wide dildos. That's Thank right. you. So speaking of sexy, sexy, fulsome time, I also have not been. I would fucking love it. Honestly, I think Curtis and I would end up divorced because I would just be like, I'm done, I'm moving on. No, just, you know, because of blowjobs and stuff. But I reorganized <laughs> our sex drawer and I found our Lucy Stool cock ring and I gave her her own special place. Oh. It's the, I have the hot pink one. Oh, hell yeah. Because I like my, I, when he sees my dick, I want him to go, that's a really gay dick. Oh, oh you, yeah, I love you that. It? I, I'm hung. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. What a fucking <laughs> weird thing to say. I want you to know. Okay. I want you to know. <laughs> as much as I love it, there are there's a new line coming out. Is mm -hmm. that correct? Or can you there not? There is. No, no, no. Yeah, we just launched Stool Samples 3.0, as we're calling it. Like, <gasps> oh, so shit. we have the new colors, and we also have a few new toys that we've added to the batch. And this batch is also um, black light reactive. So there'll be a lot oh, of fun in the club. Shit. Yeah. Oh, right. that's a really. Mm -hmm. Good idea. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You'll be able to spot somebody, you know, from across the way, and be like, and you'll "I know be what's able in to your spot butt." Some stuff on it. Oh, someone else has been using this. And you'll be the, like, "Thanks to my black light, I know that to be true." I know it to be true. It's true. <laughs> Let's talk about Miss RuPaul and this kind of. I like this look. You know, they're all starting to look the same at this point. I was about to well, say they all, it's I, not. They all do. Yeah. It's not my favorite that she's worn because it it was it did just look like a homecoming dress that was yeah. really pretty. She yeah. looked gorgeous, but she's worn some more outstanding. Do you need help? Well, I was just gonna uh -oh. pin it. The Amadeus is causing some problems. Find her. Well, you know he was gay and blind. <laughs> <laughs> and blind. <laughs> That's what you said. Right? <laughs> oh, Dev. <laughs> Famously. Oh, game if he, and oh my gosh. If you went to Folsom, oh, imagine wow. the music that would come out of that. <laughs> and guest judge T.S. Madison looking so incredible. Uh, regular rotation, I hear now. The doll. Yeah, I hear she's now like. I think they're edging, good. I think they're edging Ross out. Yeah. Good. We we hear. Yeah. Oh no, that came out so mean. I like <laughs> Ross. I, I like, like Ross. Ross. <laughs> no, I do too. I do too. He's the hilarious Ross, <clears throat> of course. Yes. But I'm ready for a different perspective. Why not? Let's talk about this theme of chaps. I loved it. I think it's kind of a fun theme. I like the idea of chaps. Yes. My thing about chaps is they need to fit. They need to fit. Yeah. We can get away with a lot of stuff on the runway not being the exact fit. We know how that is with drag sometimes, like, especially if someone else makes it for you and sends it to you. Like, that can be difficult. But, like, with chaps, yeah. they're, like, the focal point of, like, what you're wearing. So they should, like, Well, the fit. main thing about chaps is when you look at someone is that you're seeing a specific part of their body yeah. exposed. It so should frame that's... it. It should highlight it. Yeah. Like, that should be a big part of, like, what you're wearing with the chaps. Like, mm. okay, I think now there some I kind of do. I want to go to Folsom with you because I want you to walk around and I want you to tell me whose chaps fit well and who's <laughs> that will be the last thing that I'm thinking about <laughs> also. that is one of those instances where I'm like the fit of the chap does not does matter does not matter and does also not matter. I'll see you later That's yeah <laughs> also that well Willow Pill in chaps with extra hands hands so that cool. were giving her a wedgie that is iconic so brilliant it's really good it, it was really, reminiscent really of good. Simone in the finale with her hands yeah um, and the Matrix because you know part of the Matrix is black pleather and Hands. wedgies and wedgies. Oh. I'll be Tons honest, I haven't seen it all the way through. So. I saw the first. Do you need help? I think yeah, I okay. might. Did I get it? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. Well, if I don't have it fully tight, then my daddy won't know that I'm choking. Sorry, my dad has started watching the show and he likes to know that I'm in pain. <laughs> Hello, father. <laughs> I absolutely love her. I love that this look that she did. It was just, you know, she's brought this like really fun, weird, authentic take on all the runways. Yeah. And this was another one of those. I was like, that's so fucking cool. No one else would do that. 
Yeah. I could see you in a lot of the stuff that she, the house specifically. You do a very oh, good demure kind of 50s housewife and then to put a giant house on your head. I think you'd look so fucking cool. I love that. I absolutely loved that yeah. one. You know, they're very much like part Lucille Ball, so. Yeah. Yes. That speaks to Oh, did you see? Nicole Kidman. Did you see? Mm -hmm. How'd you know? <laughs> did you watch that shit? No. Sorry, did you? Yeah. Absolutely not. <laughs> she got nominated for an Academy Award for that. Really? Yes. I love Nicole Kidman. I love that she's a movie star. I think she's one of those movie stars that became a movie star and we've continued to enjoy her because she's got the title movie star, but I don't think she's a great actor. I really don't. And I don't mean that in any sort of disrespect. She knows her Australian accent pops out in the middle of nothing, like I for no it. reason. I love it. We love her for that, but don't give her an Academy Award for that. You can't do that to Lucille Ball. Maybe it's one of those, we should have given it to you for like Australia. Oh God, I hate Australia. when they do that. <laughs> I, I do hate that. when they do that. That, yeah. I hate when they do that. Cold Mountain, Renee Zellweger. Oh God! Oh God! Now listen, I loved, I loved it when I saw it, and then many years later, let me just tell you, it, it, no, she was not good in it. That accent was wild. I'm sorry, mm. I'm talking about a movie from It was like Ken Jasmine Kennedy's accent in this challenge. Kind of. It was Jasmine <laughs> Kennedy's southern accent. But that was like, sorry, sorry about Chicago last year. Yeah. Take this one. Bosco can give this to me all day. Oh. In this like pink leather, rock of love inspired tassel Harness, fringe. leather harness, pink. Get out of here. It's You're cute. not someone who's ever worn pink before. I know. Have you? So seeing someone in a pink a leather harness look, <laughs> was it jarring to you? <laughs> Would you describe it as shocking? You know, that was immediately one of those moments though where I was like, I have this look, but better. <laughs> no, and it's not bad. I think she looks great in it, but it reminds me of the outfits that a lot of the girls get from like the designers, like Creepy Ye Yeehaw and like the other designers that make those looks. It looks like the Ally Express version of that. Okay, can to I me. just say this? And I'm not, like, I love it. I'm loving that you're calling it an Ally Express because it sounds to me like they're queer allies. They're, they're the allies to the community, they obviously. They are allies to the community. I mean, look, Maddie wore one of their pieces already. <laughs> like, you know, they're they're the, all over. The patchwork, the patchwork thing. No, that, that rain <laughs> thing that she wore was all, oh. an Ally Express outfit. Oh. Was it really? Yeah. Was it really? Yeah, you can tell. Look at that thing. And good for her, and good for her. Because drag is expensive, so good for her. Lucille like, I wasn't even mad at her, but I was like, now girl, now girl, Miss Ally <laughs> Express. Did you say, did you get an Instagram ad? Yeah, and she probably did, and good for her. Miss Deja Sky serving body and orange hair. Now, I saw on Twitter that she the made this cheetah. the night before. Yeah. What? Yeah, she was. She originally had a wedding dress look, but since they did the wedding dress in the ball, yeah. she Changed she had it. to change it and make this look the night before. Oh, that's wild. And I think even without knowing that, I think she looks beautiful. I love her body. And I know I'm biased. Her body shape is good. Because I am. I like the body shape. Um, Stockholm Syndrome, but she gives me so much Alexis Bevels. Like, that's you. Hey, careful. I said Stockholm Syndrome. Like, I'm already, like, I am have to be nice to you because I've been held hostage to your personality. Okay. I so you, you would... like it? <laughs> oh, oh, okay. <laughs> okay. I see how, given our history, you would think that that might not be positive. <laughs> yes, I love it. Okay, okay, okay. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Oh my I god. I like it. I think she looks Do we pretty. need to go to therapy? When is your next session? I could just sit in the back. Oh. Basically, we so do trickle down therapy where she goes. Trickle down and economics then, has worked really well. And no. then she does it to me. Yeah. No, yeah. Carrie Colby, 90 inches oh, of she hair. Did human and hair. And all bundles. hand dyed human hair bung bundled chaps. She's Wild. just. She's just. Why? One of the most. She's the most beautiful face I've seen. She's the most gorgeous person. I, I, she's so pretty. But I'll let that outfit slide. Oh! Okay. <laughs> when it came down the runway, I'm like, mm, when it came no. down the runway, I did think, is she wearing chaps? And then she's like, I have all of these human hair bundles, and I was like, oh, 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 oh. oh. right? Yeah. Oh, and the flex to all the drag queens watching from home when she said. It's all human hair bundles. All of and it. And we were like, 
Jesus fucking, like, f come on. Uh, yeah, I was now, like, that was okay. a flex. That was. I can't get a human hair to work for me. No. That and that has nothing I still to do wear with your it. abilities. I don't care. Yeah, I but still wear it. she likes to style it, and it, it's not oh, because yeah. you can't style. It's it's honestly, it's just your makeup. Georges, <laughs> I don't think we can call them chaps, but oh, I don't care. But well, she looked amazing. <gasps> Lucy, what she did? She looks beautiful. She's beautiful. It's not chappy. I mean, no, it's not really chaps. It's not really chaps, but she looks gorgeous. I love that her... And if anybody can get away with that, it's her. She's yeah. able to get away with it. Because she's a tiny, tiny beauty queen. Mm -hmm. And she serves on the runway. She does. She looks great. She she brings a new energy I just to love the that the entire, time. her entire chaps look was, it looked like her pants had fallen down. That's it. I love that. That's like so... she bought some tights that were too small. And she Which, was like, this is where they stop. LOL. Are there oh. any tights in the world too small for her? No. Come on. No. Yeah, this is me after my first bathroom break and I can never get them quite back all the yep. way up. It's just like, well, <laughs> some of them you... just gonna stay right there. When you walk into the bar, your body's looking <sighs> right. You sat in that Uber, you suffered, you didn't breathe the entire ride, and you walk in, you feel great, and then you're like, I have to pee. Yep. And I know my pads won't look the same when I'm done. Nope. And they never do. Nope. That's why I just won't pee for like six to eight hours. I just won't do it. I have yeah. to pee every 20 to 10 minutes. That sounds like my nightmare. And I just, all my tights have rips in the crotch. <sighs> You know what's great though? Is you <laughs> save time though, because you rip it and you don't wash your hands. The and that's not true. Oh, that's not sorry, true. Sorry, that's Patreon only. I wasn't <laughs> supposed to tell you. Andrea well, Paris Ben Michaels. This was solid. Oh yeah, solid, solid gold. Solid gold. Yeah, yeah. I love she's the bell so bottom. Perfect. I love it. Isn't she? she? She's so perfect. Yeah. She's so perfect. This was an this was an episode where clearly, sorry, spoiler, but because cornbread went home, there were no bottoms. Mm -hmm. It was all they. We, it was a very positive episode, which we yeah. never have. So it was nice. But the entire time I'm watching the footage or the the rehearsal, I'm thinking, oh no, Angeria is going to be in the bottom. This is going to be really tough for us as an audience to mm. have to watch Angeria get. And instead, because no one was in the bottom. Because she would have been. She yep. was safe. That's... Her and Deja would have been in the bottom for yeah. sure. I, I, yeah, I, yeah. That's sure. God. I did pray after that. You know what? Oh. That's fulsome. Yep. Well, okay, so you didn't let me finish. So <laughs> I prayed, and then Curtis started to pee on me. And I said, nope, that wasn't God. That was Folsom the whole time. Mm. Let's talk about Jasmine Kennedy's graduation gown. <laughs> Listen, I loved this it. This outfit loved it. was so goofy <laughs> yes. that like I was in love with it. Yeah, it was just so goofy. It was the first thing she's worn that has shown any sort of like humor behind it. Honestly, yeah. because she does take her drag very seriously. Honestly, and this was so funny to me. It was I loved goofy it. and like sexy, sexy and fit the theme. Like I, we got what it was yeah. from the moment she walked out. <laughs> and she yeah. shouted out her high school. Yeah. What, what queer person? <laughs> likes their high school. Oh my God. Some people do. Ooh, Some yeah. people do. Not to not to age myself. My 20 year reunions this year. Okay, we're <gasps> the same age, so like stop. <laughs> yeah, we're all the same age. Right? Oh it. my God. Uh, oh, uh, I never you, get to hang out with my contemporaries. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm sorry. I really do need help. Can Thank I put you. this mullet in the front? Yeah. <laughs> Wait. Not the clip. What is, <laughs> my binder <laughs> This video is gonna be me scream cackling Facebook, most of it. That's why they're tuned in. We have a class like Facebook group, class of 2002, 20 mm. year reunion, blah, blah, blah. Mm. And it's like, can't wait to see everyone. Can't wait to meet all, Ugh. like to see how everyone's been for 20 years. And I'm like, I don't need to see you in person to know that. We're on the platform that makes this entire thing so unnecessary. I know. Am I an asshole? No, I'm just Well, saying you that. went to high school with Chanel Monet, so you do wanna go. Yeah, you know, she was the year above me, even though everyone lies about her age now. I liked my high school. I went to high school with tons of talented people. It's Did around the corner from my house. Yet? I've never been to any of the reunions. Same. No. I don't see the point. All they do is gossip about me still. Ah! Because you're the most famous, probably. Well, I, well, I mean, in your class. out of our class, out of our class, like I might be, uh, like one of the most famous right now. I Damn. I was talking to a friend about which we is were talking funny. about high schools and the most notable person from mine. I checked. <gasps> this blew my mind. Who? Joel Austin. No way, really? Yeah, we're well, not the same year. He's <laughs> well, obviously. I don't know that I would say but obviously. Yeah, uh, that's a really nice thing to say. How uh, old is he? I'm younger than old. You. 
How old? Old. 90 at least. Through God's love. <laughs> Through God's, love, Through God's touch. And Forever. a lot of money from people watching. Yeah. Oh, we have to talk about, this was quite a moment. Oh. Lady fucking Camden. Oh. With oh, this performance. <gasps> With the wig at reveal and the falling, and I loved, I loved the judges being like, "Oh, oh no! Oh no! Is she okay?" <gasps> she, oh. and then she stood I watched up that a thousand times because I have Twitter, and mm -hmm. she fell hard. She looked like she she, she tumbled. She fell. She looked yeah. like she tumbled. And the whole like pushing her hair back, like kind of it red is real. It she was did. so funny. She did a good job with that. That was. And even just this piece of fabric that came out, it looked like a train. It did for like for like what she did, like it totally worked. Yeah, yeah. And even though like when I went back and looked, like you can kind of see her like holding her hand in the back, like you yeah, know. Yeah, I think like she's a, got the mustache in there. Yeah, but I was like, it still works because like she did it long enough that just to the trip, it was so authentic, and it looked like she fell apart and then stands up and is like, hey. So, so good. good. Yeah, it was like, a good job. Just the entire thing and the Freddie Mercury look without the kind of trick and stuff would have been fun because she loves to kick. We saw this episode, she loves a high kick. That kick. Yeah. So that what is that kick called? That's more than a high kick. Like that like round of... I, I think it's a fan kick. Oh. Well, no, no, I think it's something that, because she's British. Oh, so just a, a fawn. A fawn kick. Yeah. A fawn. <laughs> She's leggy Camden. Oh. Lucy, we have so much left to talk about. Don't encourage her. I know. <laughs> Diabetti as Rose from Titanic in Chaps. Incredible. <laughs> Wait, what? You know in the beginning when no, she's I Rose? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Stupid. <laughs> Stop. Stop. I'm it. sorry, I'm she, sorry. Isn't this kind of like Christ. Titanic the remake in 20 years? It's, okay, can I say this? I loved the overall idea of it. I thought it was so cool. I know what you're gonna say. I think with that particular fabric, I think you are gonna need a stone. I love it, I love it, listen, I love a matte kind of look. Okay. But that, that fabric read as un... Oh God, I'm it, such an asshole. It read as unfinished to me. Like I, I needed a little extra. Had she added a distracting stone, I would have been like, oh, okay, no, that's perfect. Retraction. I didn't know what you were gonna say. Oh. I thought you were gonna talk about the panty from the back. I thought it maybe could have been different or special or shinier. Yes, yeah, she needed whole, the, the pinstripes. Yeah, that whole under part was just not doing it for me either. Yeah. And like you said, it was just all too matte. Everything was too like matte for me. Exactly, and that's what the thing when Michelle was like, oh, it's just so fashion. I was like, really? And I'm like, well, I can kind of see that perhaps had she been photographed in the right light, but on a runway, especially a drag runway, <coughs> I think you can do, I think the fashion needs a little extra help. Like think it about needs... if everything underneath was latex, just how much, yeah. just Ooh. even that, just even that yeah. alone would have made it hotter, would have added another like texture and shine yeah. like to it. This looked yeah. like homegirl forgot to put her pants on before she came in the runway. I love the idea of, oh, it's Chops runway. I'm gonna wear a business suit. I love it, I love it. the I idea love that. of it. They're just, there were elements that weren't totally finished. Yeah, no, absolutely. Yeah, she needed those pinstripes like Rose in the suit. We, we got it, we got the, the re yeah, we got the Titanic reference. Then we, we came back, we, yeah. We, we were yes, right back yeah. where we started. <laughs> yeah. Which is what Rose <laughs> wished she, she could have done. Today, today. <laughs> no. So that's the end of the runway. Was that wait, it? That's the, the end, end of the runway. Oh, okay. What do we think? Uh, we were, wait, what would y'all have worn for chaps? I don't know. Ooh. I already know. Tell because me. I have an iconic, beautiful chaps look that I've taken around the country. <gasps> made by our good friend who um, lives and works here in Nat, Glitter Kink. Who makes oh, a lot of oh, the incredible yes, harnesses. Here it is. Here it is. So you know, Hardest. like that yeah. that like pink bullet bra with like the yeah. matching like pink like uh, harness that goes over the legs and the chaps that she Ooh, like built for me. Yeah. And I made the the matching like belt to go with it and everything. Yeah, I would mm. I would definitely wear that because my idea of chaps is like you wear that and then like it's either a jock strap or nothing underneath. Maybe you got a little leather vest or a little something, but like other than that, like I want to see it's body. The chaps. Yeah, 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 I want to yeah, see yeah. body. I love that idea of just wearing chaps, mm -hmm. but the chaps stop at your neck. Oh, it's like the full. That would be very cool. But that's too. it. Ooh. Yeah. That would be funny. That'd be very cool. I would come out as like a, a British newsboy. Like a, oh, like a, like chap. a chap. 
without wearing chaps, and then you'd say he misunderstood. Or, you. or just like really chap lips. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. Chicago winner. <laughs> okay, but T. <tea. laughs> So now we get to watch their videos and suddenly all those pauses make a lot more sense because guess what this Daytona Wins soap is about? Listen to me. Fuck you. I'll tell you why. <laughs> you do not get to make an entire thing about surprise. We put fart sounds in your fucking shit when you did rock so yeah, dirty. That's, Here's so dirty. the deal. I know so we dirty. all change and grow, okay? But you don't get to fuck around with fart jokes. You don't get to send someone home over a fart joke and then, and then shove turn it, it right in their face into a fucking are you kidding and rue was laughing so hard so hard i was so mad <laughs> why was i mad because it's unjust it is and rock'em sakura is deserved better what did you think of them adding the fart sounds lucy adding fart sounds to a thing they filmed not knowing they were going to be farting the whole time uh... yes <laughs> Yes. I'm like, yes, uh, because it felt very inside baseball as well. Like it was, mm. it was kind of fun to see the initial reaction. Uh -huh. You know, of course, Jasmine was screaming throughout the entire thing. So like, that eventually girl, it yeah. was like, girl, but it also felt like, okay, we weren't in on this. We're still not kind of in on this. Like, can y'all have this moment and then reveal it to us later? I wrote down Diesel O'Hara oh. can have these nuts, but I, I, okay. I did enjoy it. I did like the final product just for an acting challenge. Yeah, I thought there was a lot of really good standouts. Bosco. You know what I thought was really strange though? Willow, of course. Was Angie, who has performed at the top the entire time. She's an actual Southern woman, but then she didn't really play up her Southern accent. Like Angie was fine, but I was so bombed at her performance in this. And I know not every challenge is for everyone, but she did really well with the save the queen kind of thing. Mm -hmm. And so we've seen that she has the ability to do it. And then there's a scene where she has to be an overly dramatic Southern woman. I was so sad. Maybe she was trying to not get, what is that called? Pegged into a corner? Pigeonholed. Pigeon I like pegged. They are the same. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> they also you only showed her bitch. like. Yeah. Because they also showed her like this. Much. So I don't know. Maybe I think some of the kids also don't really get Dynasty or Dallas or understand That's like a, yeah. the it's, epic John Collin esque like fuse and things like that. It is early eighties. Yeah, it I'm is like late seventies, early eighties. Like style. even when I started watching it, like it yeah. was mostly off the TV. That was like yeah. a young queer being like, who are these fabulous women? Like I just knew I wanted to be like Diane Carroll. Like the champagne yeah. is burnt. Like <gasps> that's like I'm one sure. of my favorite moments ever. They are truly made for people in the eighties. In that the episodes are usually an hour and twenty minutes. Mm -hmm. Like they're a full movie yes. per episode, very slow moving. Mm -hmm. You do get a lot of uh, doors. Tons of exposition. Uh, yeah, exposition, exposition station. Like yeah. every scene is, this is what who I am, this is where I'm from, and now here's my entire house. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? I love it. It's so good, but it is something that I, yeah, you do have to kind of be aware of it. Like when Rue came in and said, how many of you know Joan Collins? And everyone raised their hand. They're like, well, like, I'm like, you bitches don't know who no, Joan Collins is. <laughs> no, like, no, you don't. Like, stop it. You saw an American Horror Story for like half an episode. Oh, her. Alexis. I'm very young. Child. That's not true. <laughs> All right, so instead of a bottom, they call out three names, Deja, Angeria, and... The other one. The other one, and oh, Carrie Colby, and they say, Carrie, you're safe. You may join the back. You go to the, get it, go away. I shocked. And then shocked. I was shocked. I was shocked. like, yeah, What's yeah, going yeah. on? Yeah. yeah well, yeah. the minute they said Angeria was safe, I was like, Okay, wait, huh? Yeah. Oh, okay. yeah. yeah. And then they said, We're doing things different today. Mm. Instead of a bottom two, we're gonna do a top, and then lip sync top two or whatever. <laughs> yeah, or whatever. So basically the safe people were the bottom people and then everyone else that was left on stage were the top. We have not had such a positive moment. I have not felt that camaraderie 
since after the towers fell. Come Do you remember? So the, the towers had fallen, right? And we're all in high school. Tony. And so we're wearing our American flag shirts and we're crying, we're holding hands and we're singing. That's what this felt like. I was in homeroom when it happened. You were in homeroom? I remember. At 9 a.m.? Yeah. Oh, before 9 a.m., yeah. Oh, the first plane hit at like 8.30, 8 30. Yeah. Like that. I, I had just got. I, I was in English too! I'll never forget because one of the kids said, Look, that's the city you wanted to move to. And oh. I, <laughs> I will never forget that line because I was like, What does that mean? Is that like, why you what? live in Chicago? Yeah. <laughs> After that, I was like, everything's changed. Now who I is that person? Name New them. York Queen. I know. I wonder. Who who was it that said it to me? It was Janelle Monet. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> she was so sweet. She was like the best, like coolest person I have as a classmate. Honestly. Listen, I love oh. that, that you have that experience but every time you tell stories about you and Janelle and just how much fun you had. You know? God damn it. All of us can't, you know, rub elbows with superstars. Okay, you know, like but I graduated. Team. I graduated. The most famous person in my class, besides me, of course, is um, Matt Cain. Who Cain's for, chicken? Who for two years? No. Who for two years was the highest paid um, pit starting pitcher in Major League Baseball? Oh, what team? baseball. The one. The, you know, the baseball one? The sand, the, the lemon, the... Listen, I'm happy for his success. He was an asshole. Was he a cub? He was an asshole. No, he was a, he, they threw the baseball and stuff. The bumblebee. So he was a bear. I don't remember. But, <laughs> but he's the most famous. Oh, I get it. Top you got two. it? Okay. They picked the top two. It's Daya Betty and Lady Camden, and they have to lip sync for who wins. Do you agree with the top two? Lady Camden, I Can do. Can I be honest? Like, it be would, honest. For me, it would have been Lady Camden and maybe maybe Bosco. Hmm. Am I thinking that right? Or my... No, you can't be thinking that right. <laughs> my issue with Bosco, <laughs> I'll be honest with you, my issue with Bosco was in those particular scripts, especially when RuPaul is giving you a line reading, say it like this, you don't have a lot of wiggle room, mm -hmm. but, but Bosco had the full like enter and make your slow yeah. reveal. And she didn't take that opportunity. And I know that's very like picky, but uh -huh. I wish she had walked in with the hat down and then just gone. Like Titanic. Well, I mean, yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh, damn. Oh, my keys. <laughs> I, I, wish she had, I wish she had done something so dramatic. Oh. oh. Okay. Willow did a good job, too. Willow killed it. And Willow slayed the runway, so maybe it would yeah. have been Rill Willow and Daya. I or think, Willow and... I think I would have put Willow before Daya, as far as the performance and the yeah, look yeah. goes. I would say probably Willow and Lady Camden, yeah. possibly. Yeah. 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 What did you Same. think about them saying Willow was basically just doing a Moira? I don't know. I thought that was weird because it wasn't really giving me like Moira. She did say on Twitter, I've never watched Shit's Creek. And I yeah. Know what Moira is, which was funny to me. Now, Lucy and I just did two weekends of a Shit's Creek brunch, oh, yes. which was phenom. phenomenal. So much fun. Flipped so on now, ends. Had a blast. Yeah. But Alexis, Alexis P. Bevels, one of our most popular TikToks as of late is you doing Moira Rose. And oh, everyone think, yeah, said, yeah, yeah. I was ready for it to be bad because everyone says they're good at it and they're not. But everyone was obsessed with how good you are at Moira Rose. Rose. That's very kind. Thank you. Can you do it? No, 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 no. Because Shit's now Craig. it'll be back. <laughs> <laughs> that, was, that was one of my numbers. One of my numbers was I had Alexis do... Oh, yeah. Shit's yeah. Creek. Shit's Creek. I did, like, uh, <laughs> a TLC's Creep. So I... Shit's Creek. Yeah. And you were in The Creek. And don't go <laughs> chasing Shit's Creek. I forgot when I was doing the mix that I had put all of your shit's Craig versions at the front. So when I sent the track to the DJ, it had all of the parts that I was gonna plug in. So it was just six shit's Craig over and over. And you did that? And so I just left it. <laughs> so when Lucy introduced me, it was just you saying Shit's Creek six Shits times Craig. in a row. Shits which actually Craig. worked out. Yeah, People no. People were like, oh, wait, wait. 
What the fuck is that? So thank you. That's so funny. Are you gonna, um, so are you gonna ever pay? So I sent you an invoice for that. You sent me an invoice? Yeah, did you get it? For Actually, the use of my voice? you know what's voice? so crazy is I was sending you an invoice oh. for all of the editing I do of your fucking voice. Oh! <laughs> It must have gotten caught in the, I don't know, in the mail or... Well... It got lost in the email. <laughs> <laughs> we get a top two lip sync that honestly Lady Camden killed. Oh. Daya was good. Don't get me wrong. It was fun. Like she, she was feeling that hat, okay? She worked that hat into every moment. But Lady Camden was Lady kicking Camden. her fucking leg. I thought she was about to kick her leg off. Those, what'd you call them? Those... Fan kicks. Fan kicks. No, fun. Fawn cake. Fawn So she won a repeater badge and no money. I'm kidding. She won $5,000. <laughs> Yay. Good for her. And I like her. I love Lady Camden. I didn't expect her to become one of the front runners mm -hmm. so soon. Yeah, I, I like think her. she's going the distance. I'm you think so? Say. Yeah. And I don't believe. I think she's going to go far, yeah. I don't believe mm. in British people because I, I love. Revolutionary War, very American. Teabagging. Teabagging. Tea Against slash for, depending. Did you, see, did you see the queen got COVID? I think the queen's queen dead. Being. I think she's been dead. I think she's dead. I think she's been dead. And so them saying, oops, she got COVID is um, LOL. It's the beginning of the end. Well, I think the end has already happened. Oh. I think it is false advertising. Also, we released a Fighting TikTok. News. We released a TikTok of us saying that we think that the queen has something bad coming to her. Did then, they contact you? Well, then the next day they announced that she had COVID. And so I do believe that the palace, Buckingham, if you've heard, palace, you know, comma, Buckingham. Mm -hmm. I do believe they're watching our show. Yeah, I can see that. Um, don't you think the queen's dead? I think she's dead. She's they should dead. sign up for our Patreon because they already got one messy queen. London Bridge is falling down. Did you just call her messy? Well, if she's dead, it's probably messy. Mm. <laughs> Untucked is serving it this season. Mm -hmm. And we have another beautiful moment of, of coming out story. Jasmine reveals that she is a transgender woman in a very heartfelt moment. I loved it. I, yeah. We, we had Bosco who came out online last yeah. week. Mm -hmm. And then we got to see Jasmine do it on TV. And now we're up to five straight contestants on <laughs> Drag Race. To see her be so brave and share her story for truly the benefit of everyone watching. I'm so proud of her. I'm so happy. Yeah. And like, even though we've seen it a few times, it still felt like different in that moment to have someone still be like in this like questioning like moment, but then also have like the complete realization that like, holy shit, this is who I am. I honestly, dysphoria and the rest of like the world has been making me deny it, but this is me and yeah. I'm having that breakthrough right now. It's beautiful to see yeah. like this fucking stupid reality show, let's be honest. It's yeah. a reality show. But then to see these stories broadcast into people's homes who don't usually get to see those stories. Come on. It's amazing. Thank you everyone for watching. <laughs> this episode was truly season 14 and this I'm episode really <laughs> chapped my ass. <laughs> oh. Okay. No. Okay. Lucy, thank you so much for being here. Oh, thank you for having me, oh both God. of you beauties. Anytime. You have Queen that you have to rush off to. Yeah. Um, so tell us, when you're not a Queen, where else can we find you? How do we find you on the internet? So you can find me everywhere on the internet at Ty is Lucy Stool. That's T-Y-I-S-L-U-C-Y-S-T-O-O-L-E. It's the same on Venmo, Cash App, all that stuff too, so feel free to send me money. And yeah, also come see me um, at Macy's two to three times a month for our drag brunch. It's the best one in Chicago. It, it, I'm 100% say it. hands I'm say it. I'm it say it really it. is. We've done it. We've done it. And every time we do it, it is just, it's mind boggling how much fun everyone is having. Yeah. It's a really good time. Yeah. It's a really good time. It's incredible. And go to lucystool.com to get your new yes! samples before they sell out. But after, I, I'm going to get one first and then you can get them. I do feel like that would be a fun surprise for Curtis is if I got a different color that, glue, that glowed in the dark. You should buy him my penis. I haven't meaning to talk to you about that. that he has been wanting to bottom more lately. Shut See? up! <laughs> oh, stop telling his business! <laughs>
<laughs> but yeah, point in my way. If you enjoyed this episode, hit subscribe and hit the bell notification. Go to patreon.com slash IMHO the show for more exclusive content and never before seen footage. If you would like a message from us, we're all individually on Cameo. Are you on Cameo? Are you on Cameo? I am on Cameo. Get a Cameo from Lucy We are all on Cameo. You can go ahead and get that. If you'd like a message from me and Alexis together with the background and we have like the opening graphics, it's called a Shamio. You can go to IMHOtheshow.com <laughs> and get you one of those. Also, Alexis, it's still February. So we are still still doing our giveaway. Uh, we have a basket filled with over $200 worth of Black Beauty Creators products yes. from Midas, Drench, and Neon MUA. If you would like to enter to win that, all you have to do is donate one of these amounts to Brave Space Alliance and send us the receipt. You have all the way through February 28th to go ahead and make those donations and get your name into the drawing. Is there anything else? Do you have any words of wisdom? Oh yeah, what are your final words of wisdom? My parting words are... Oh God, here we go. Make sure to wash your hands, unlike Darby. <laughs> Can I be honest though? Can I tell you the truth? Please, be frank. I just, you know, chap lips? Mm -hmm. It can happen to your hands too. Mm. So I'm just trying to avoid water mm. for like the health of um, my massage clients. Mm. I don't want to have chapped hands for them. Mm. You told me you weren't doing massages anymore. Ooh. <laughs> oh, so I'm only doing it for people who respect their bodies. I'm so sorry. For <laughs> motorcycles? What was that? <laughs> Jim <Jimbo's studio. laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry. I didn't mean that. I mean, I did a little. You look gorgeous tonight. Hi. <laughs> 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 wait, wait, wait. Okay, wait. Oh. Can I do <sighs> wait, wait. My wig is showing my witter speak. Hold on. What does Todrick say? So I hope you got your nails, hair, hair nails, hips, heels on, girl. Oh, you're still filming. You are. <laughs>